Hi Scorpio, this is your April 4th or April 10th weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly readings. We'll have a spread uh, for new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, subscribe and share this video to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this week. We have the Page of Cups, we have the Ace of Cups clarified by the Two of Cups, we have the Eight of Pentacles clarified by the King of Pentacles. In the potential outcome we have the Three of Pentacles with the Will of Fortune and Death <laughs> and we also have the Empress on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn or pretty much any Zodiac sign. So yeah, the King of Pentacles right there in the middle clarifying the Eight of Pentacles, that's the person you'll be dealing with. Um, it could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. If they're not an Earth sign, they could be a business person. Um, they, could, they could be somebody who is very grounded, somebody who doesn't make any sudden moves and you could be working with this person, doing business with this person or they could be associated in some way with the way you make your money, right? Because uh, the King of Pentacles is clarifying the Eight of Pentacles and we also have the Three of Pentacles, the first card in the potential outcome. Both of those cards could be a workplace environment or business place um, or, you know, you could be this a person could be working for another company and the company you work with for they could be, you could you guys could be dealing with each other all the time they could be a vendor you could be their vendor you know you, you catch the drift if they're not somebody you work with then both of those cards could uh, also represent how serious how dedicated they're going to be about this connection right uh, the eight of pentacles is a card of somebody who is diligently working on something putting time effort whatever is necessary into it and the Three of Pentacles is a card of collaboration, right? This is both of you building this nest together from the ground up, making sure the foundation is solid because both of you want it, because both of you see the potential and therefore it makes sense to start putting time, effort and whatever is necessary into it from the very beginning. I really like it. So there is a lot of groundedness, a lot of seriousness, a lot of stability uh, in this connection. You know, the, that's what this person brings to the table. And uh, not only do they bring that to the table, they are a very loving, a very emotional person at the same time. Because they're coming in with the Page of Cups, their very first card that came out. This is them asking you out, this is them uh, purchasing you uh, a beverage of your choice. <laughs> this is them giving you a bouquet of flowers, you know, taking you out to dinner, you know, all the nice stuff. But the thing about this is that it will very quickly jump to the Ace of Cups with the Two of Cups energy and the Ace of Cups that was the very next card that came out right the Ace of Cups always talks about genuine authentic love and uh, it's clarified by the Two of Cups the Two of Cups is a card of unconditional love it's a card of both people being on the same page both people feeling the same way towards each other so I think this person will instantly you know <laughs> um, there will be an instant connection, you know, you will instantly like this person, there will be an instant chemistry, um, the two of you will instantly get on the same page. Um, we have you in the spread twice, alright? The death card, the last card that came out right next to the deck, that is your personal card, Scorpio. It's always a good sign to have your own card in your own reading and I believe the Empress on the bottom of the deck, that also represents you and uh, as some of you may already know the same card could be interpreted in multiple ways even in the same spread so the Empress is one of the most positive cards in the deck that's the way this person sees you from the very beginning because uh, the Empress often comes through as a future wife or the future significant other figure so they do look at you as somebody they want to build this life together somebody they want to have children with if that is still an option for you somebody they want to marry right um, the Empress is uh, besides that the Empress is abundance in its purest form it's um, you know in my spreads the Empress usually shows up in, as a sign from above or a stamp of approval for a connection to move forward the will of fortune in the middle of the potential outcome is exactly that the forward movement card this is a card of starting a new cycle a very fortunate new cycle you know the word fortune and the will of fortune is there for a reason so overall I really like it it's like a mixture of um, being very serious, grounded, dedicated and at the same time very loving, very nice, very caring with all those uh, cups here and uh, like I said the two of you will be getting on the same page very very quickly. It's like 
you, like I said, you're jumping to the Ace of Cups. You're jumping to the Two of Cups energy. And uh, the the Empress with the Wheel of Fortune, you know, those are two major arcana cards. The Death card is also a major arcana card, but that one represents you. And uh, since it's always a good sign to have your own card in your own reading, that means you are pretty much, um, you know, they're putting you up on a pedestal pretty much with the Empress card as well, right? That means everything revolves around you, around what you want, around uh, how you envision this, but at the same time, I do see you getting on the same page very quickly. Really like this reading, uh, Scorpio, really do. All right, really happy for you, congratulations. Scorpio, if you'd like to see the extended for this new love spread, the link is in the description box down below. In the extended, I'll do two or three more spreads, depending on how the situation unfolds. We'll take a look at what to expect between you and this person moving forward, and we'll get you an advice for this whole situation. Scorpio, if you are already married, or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the two of wands, uh, clarified by the fool. We have justice, we have the hierophant, and we also have the sun on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. Um, I can think of a couple of uh, things here, uh, Scorpio. Scenario number one, um, if you are suing somebody, and I don't think you're suing each other, <laughs> if you're suing a neighbor, if you're suing some, some other company, then you guys will hear some good news because um, uh, there will be a verdict and I think it's going to go in your favor. Scenario number two, um, the only phrase I can think of when I look at this spread, all these cards, is sure, yes, let's get married. <laughs> That's what I keep hearing. Right, so let's talk about the first scenario, right? The two of ones is a card of uh, somebody who is making a decision. Um, the justice card in the middle, it's... Um, could be a judge, literally a judge, working for a government organization, like a, a court, right? And uh, it's going to go in your favor. The Hierophant right next to the deck, in this case, it could be something official, something formal, so it is official business, right? Um, the Sun on the bottom of the deck is the happiest card in the deck. You'll be really happy with the outcome. And the Fool, I think this is a judgment in your favor. Now you feel free. From this, whatever it, whatever it was that was holding you back, so you you will no longer be uh, involved in this lawsuit. You're free from it, and uh, you're happy about it, right? In scenario number two, um, the tail ones, uh, I guess either you or them. I'm trying to understand what's next for the two of you. I don't think they have a doubts about it, but perhaps this is just a, a natural point of your connection, of your relationship, where you have to decide what, what's next for you. Right? And the decision is to get married. The fool is uh, just going for it, just doing it. Justice could be um, you know, a person who's got the authority to marry other people, like a minister or a priest, or justice could be a place where people get married, like a chapel, and the hierophant is uh, the marriage itself. Because <laughs> the Hierophant is a card of something traditional, like a committed relationship or marriage. The Sun on the bottom of the deck is the happiest card in the deck. And I usually, I actually always point it out when the Sun and the Fool come out in the same spread. You see in the right upper corner of the Fool card, we have the Sun, right? And uh, the person on the Fool card and uh, the kid in the Sun card, they look kind of the same. You see if they've got their hands spread out, and this is usually a gesture of a very happy person. Right? So whatever is happening here, it's going to make you really, really happy, Scorpio. All right? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Scorpio, this week. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent ex. We have the Knight of Cups clarified by Judgment. We have the Moon clarified by the Seven of Cups. Uh, we have uh, the Emperor and we also have the Seven of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a fellow water sign, uh, Cancer, another Scorpio, or Pisces, or perhaps an Aries. Um, the Emperor is the person you'll be dealing with. It could be an Aries uh, you're dealing with. The Emperor could play out in so many different ways actually. Let's talk about all of them, and perhaps you can match it with your situation, but don't don't force it, <laughs> okay? Um, so yeah, the Emperor could be an Aries, the Emperor could be a control freak, perhaps this person likes to have everything under their control. The Emperor could also be somebody who is stepping up, somebody who finally got their shit together, and now they're ready to commit, now they 
are ready to get serious. You know, perhaps they got a job, they got a haircut, they got their own place, you know, somebody who is stepping up. So it all depends on your situation. The emperor could be any of those um, different characters. Um, they're coming in with the Knight of Cups offer. The Knight of Cups could also be a, a fellow water sign, Cancer, not a Scorpio, or Pisces, or this is a, actually an offer of love, genuine love. It's clarified by Judgment. Judgment is a card of somebody coming back from the past. Uh, then we have the moon, clarified by the seven of cups. The moon is the personal Pisces card. You could be dealing with a Pisces, but it could also be your energy, and that's what it kind of feels like. This is a card of fear. This is a card of confusion. It's one of the most emotional cards in the tarot deck. So with the seven of cups clarifying it, um, yeah, most likely you're unclear, unsure, you're a little bit afraid, uh, you're confused, because uh, the seven of cups could also play out uh, just like the moon card that I was just talking about, right? And the seven of pentacles on the bottom of the deck, this is a card of waiting. So I think this person will make you an offer, a reconciliation offer, and uh, you're going to need time to think about it, to digest this information, to see if this is something you want to do again, right? But uh, the good news is that they're not going anywhere. With the seven of pentacles, they'll patiently wait for you. It all depends on what this person did to you, uh, Scorpio, you know? If, and I, as I always say, if somebody really, really screwed you over in the past, chances are they'll do it again. If they didn't, perhaps you can give them a second chance. It's 100% up to you. All right? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Scorpio, this week. We have Strength, clarified by the Magician. We have the Ten of Wands. We have the Ace of Pentacles. And we also have the Fool on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with uh, Leo. It feels like you are about to start something brand spanking new, something you haven't done in the past, and uh, you're a little bit afraid of it. <laughs> the good news is that the universe is telling you, I think you should move forward, you should pursue it, whatever it is you are thinking of starting. Some of you are thinking about quitting your 9 to 5, starting your own business. Um, you could be, um, you know, thinking of uh, investing money into something. Um, or if you already run your own business, you could be thinking about expanding it or starting a new line of products. Something like that. It will require taking a risk, right? The fall on the bottom of the deck is a risk in this case. Taking a risk, taking a leap of faith. But it will pay off in a big way. And uh, like I said, the universe is on your side. You will have all the tools you need at your disposal. And uh, most importantly, you will have strength and courage to do it. So speaking of strength and courage, the first card I came out is strength. <laughs> it does represent strength and courage on your part. And I clarified it and uh, we got the magician. So yeah, the universe says you are the magician, you can make anything happen. And uh, the magician's got all the tools they need at their disposal. All right? So move forward. The ten of ones in the, in the middle is a card of a burden. So nobody said it's going to be a walk in the park. It's not going to be easy, it's going to be hard, but uh, the good news, like I said, you'll be able to pull it through. The Ace of Pentacles, in, uh, right, the last card that came out, is the end result. This is a golden opportunity. You see how there is a pathway in the right bottom corner of that Ace of Pentacles? This is the pathway to new life. Right. So whatever it is you are facing right now, this new beginning that requires risk, taking a leap of faith, go ahead and do it. It's not going to be easy, but you'll get there. All right? Let's see what you're not expecting to happen, uh, Scorpio, this week. We have the Devil, clarified by the Page of Cups. We have the Seven of Wands, clarified by the Six of Swords. We have the Star, and we also have the King of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, or an Aquarius, or perhaps uh, a fellow water sign, Cancer, another Scorpio, or Pisces. I can interpret this spread a couple of different ways, very similar ways, actually, I should say. Um, the Devil is the personal Capricorn card. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. But if we want to stay general, Right, then I do have two scenarios here, and uh, hear me out. And uh, this spread, by the way, could be related to you. It could be directly related to you or indirectly related to you. It could be something that's happening to you or somebody else, somebody you love or somebody you know. The devil in this case is a temptation. All right, so especially for those who's been struggling with an addiction or a bad habit. Right, so perhaps you already kicked it. There will be something coming your way 
this week that will tempt you to go back to it, to go back and gamble, to go back to smoking, drinking, using. You know, that page of cups, clarifying the devil, that is an offer coming from someone, from the devil himself, perhaps. Hmm? <laughs> I'm, I'm exaggerating, but yeah, perhaps somebody will say, hey, let's go, let's go grab a beer, or let's go grab a something, let's go gamble, uh, let's play a, a card game, you know, something like that. That's the temptation right there, and uh, that's what you're not expecting. The good news is that you'll be able to say no to it, right? The next card I came out is the seven of ones. This is you fighting it off. You're standing your ground. You're defending yourself. And uh, with the uh, six of swords, clarifying that seven of ones, this is you moving on. You're turning your back and uh, off the two, uh, off you go, right? The star right next to the deck, it could be uh, an Aquarius you're dealing with, or the star could also be a card of healing, right? So you've completely healed yourself. Because and uh, you're gonna pass this test, and you're moving forward, right? You're moving away from that. And uh, the King of Cups on the bottom of the deck. This is either you or perhaps this is somebody you know who's been struggling with this, right? Uh, for others of you, in scenario number two, perhaps you have a goal, a long-term goal, not even just a goal. It's a dream, and uh, you are moving towards that. It's like within your reach. You already put some time, effort. You're moving towards this, right? And that dream or goal could be about anything, you know? You losing weight, that could be a goal or a dream. <laughs> that's, but that's just an example. So there will be a temptation for you uh, to, to stop you, to prevent you from reaching that goal, whatever that goal is. And the devil with the Page of Cups, that is that temptation coming your way. It could be coming from another person or a situation or what have you. And again with the Seven of Wands and the Six of Swords, this is you fighting it off. You're not letting this uh, stand in your way and uh, you're, you're just gonna keep moving towards that dream. And the star in this case is a card of a wish come true. This is a, a wish granted card. The King of Cups, that's you or the person you're dealing with. So yeah, it's deep, Scorpio. It is deep. But uh, whatever temptation comes your way, don't let it don't let it conquer you. No, you've conquered it and uh, you already kicked it. And don't let anybody stop you if you're moving towards a dream. All right, Scorpio. So, yeah, that's what I got for you for this reading. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And other than that, Scorpio, have an amazing week. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.